Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I see a shiny up there. Where the hell am I? And what was I doing? Oh, that's right. I have no idea where I am, and I was hoping to find a way to reunite with Ashley. Well... That makes that decision much easier. What if I can just keep doing this until it breaks down? See, if they didn't want this to work, they shouldn't have made it work in other situations. I don't know if it shows up on the videos. I'm not sure, but, uh... If you look in the extreme lower left corner of the screen, there's actually like a single pixel wide strip where the, uh, for lack of a better term, the widescreen bars don't fail to cover the, uh, what's underneath. Which means it's rendering those widescreen bars. It's just, uh,. Putting them on for cinematic reasons, I guess? Weird. throw myself off from here to my death. That would be really funny. How am I doing for ammo? Alright, checks out to me. I've been told that, uh, while it's still pretty stingy, Resident Evil 4 isn't actually as bad as the earlier RE games what were for, uh, ammo conservation. And while I don't have much direct experience with that, I can tell you that, uh, at least in the GameCube remake of the original Resident Evil 1, which, uh, my friend Steve rented a few times. When you started a new game as uh, Jill Valentine, you had, uh, I think it was a pistol with one clip of bullets in it. And I'm pretty sure that's how uh, you start as Leon here. Maybe with a few extras, I don't remember. But if you started as Chris Redfield, you, s you like dropped your gun in the opening cutscene, so you start gameplay with nothing but a knife. Ooh, sorry about that. I'll, uh, edit that coughing fit out. Let me just get one of these lozenges and see if that helps. Don't give up on you. I always like that one. Hmm. Hello, birds. How is it going? Oh shit, I was supposed to be shooting them. Ah oh, well, fuck it. Take. Oh! Maybe the that's an offering. Alright, what's the catch? Predictable. Well, 
Well, it's great, except that, uh, Ashley can't lift me. I mean, look at her. Oh, for... I don't know that I've ever actually found a snake in one of these barrels. But, you know, better safe than sorry. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's just a texture. I thought that was like a beetle thing clinging to the wall. Sort of find it funny that he's uh, actually aiming where you were when you get out of that animation. Good lord, I have two of these! That's awesome! Kinda wanna mix them together and see what that does. Oh no, there's a wall there. Hmm. My secret sense is jingling. No, that's a sneeze! Zoom tight. Hope I'm not coming down to something. And that time I jostled the button. God damn it. Enough for the jump cuts, me. Sorry. Yellow herb! Can make a triple yellow herb potion and turn myself into a god. Except I really don't want to descend into there, because years of video games have taught me that there will be a man with a chainsaw in there. And I can handle a man with a chainsaw, but I still don't want to. I should be... oh god, I should take a moment to, like, try and find a route. Okay, so I come out... Where the fuck do I come out? Oh, god damn it. Pretty sure they made this deliberately, uh, awkward. Wouldn't be the first thing they'd done like that in this game. What are you? Again, just like a box. I keep seeing shit. Hmm. Keep this handy instead. For close encounters. Nope. Wait. Oh no, it's a sealed door. Two moons, make one. Great. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. Hang up on him. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life, you'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends, like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? You know, I assumed he was talking about, uh, Leon and Ashley. Just a second. Okay. Sagacious! 
I've been typing this into my phone. Sagacious, adjective, having, having or showing keen mental discernment and good judgment. Shrewd. So nothing surprising there, he just was bragging about how smart he is. Alright, let's see. I get the unfortunate feeling that this is going to be one of those times where you, uh... They're just endlessly spawning monsters. So you don't have, you know... So you have to hurry if you want to get everything. Oh, Christ. What's that? Is that a lock? I should probably shoot that off from here. Oh, God. Should be a lever there. Oh, great! You guys! Mm. I think it's possible I dislike you guys even more than the bugs. What, you're telling me you created these things on purpose? I just thought the parasite was getting into everything. No, fuck it. Let's get the shotgun out. Oh, God. Except for right now, because, you know... Actually, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna blow your fucking head off. It didn't a work. I saw a really stupid movie once where these demons could only be killed if you destroyed both of their eyes. And I say really stupid because the protagonists are using guns. And these were mooks. They weren't even the main bad guy. Why did I go in there? Huh. There's no reason to go in here at all. Check those corners. Shit, I thought I saw movement there. Fuck yes, first aid spray. Oh, it definitely came from that way, because I kicked the door down. Maybe I should use that trick I learned. <laughs> I learned it from the fucking Yogg's cast. When you're in a maze, pick a wall, 
and hug it. Like every time you come to a uh, turn, take the curve that your wall takes. It may take you a while, but eventually this will lead you to the exit unless the uh, area of the maze is made up out of islands. This is why I'm a cat person. Jesus! Fuck you guys! Couldn't the other one get out? Was it scripted to break free? Is that why there was a lock on the door that, uh... Served no purpose? Oh, I really should heal. Ugh! You know what? Alright. Just wanted to do that. First, do that. You over here. Get all my grenades in one spot for fucking cleanliness sake. Ugh. Oh. I'm so disorganized. There we go. Perfect! <laughs> Everything is as it should be. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. A clean inventory is a clean mind. I don't keep my room that well organized. Alright, we're, we're okay, wait, 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 wait. Shit, I lost track. I think. No, I didn't come in from over there. Great. Stupid wolves. This was kicked in this direction. I just did that. Uh. Yeah, this direction. Okay. So continuing on, you take the right turn, you make a right turn. Oh, I can see that that's the dead end with the uh, yellow herb, so let's make an exception for that. wondering when more would show up. Nothing is ever easy in Resident Evil Land. You found another wolf! Oh, and uh, thank you to Shadow, what was it, 8906, apologies if I got the number wrong, should have written it down, uh, for informing me in the comments that unfortunately I have, uh, it is no longer possible for me to get the last cat's eye and complete the uh, beer stein. I'll just, have to, I'll just have to sell it for whatever it's worth right now. 
Fuck yes, take the shotgun shells. In fact, there. Let's give him a new home. Huh, I'm back over here. That's not good. Maybe it is made of island. Shit! No! See, that says Sabo Slugs. That's what I thought. Now, I don't know a goddamn thing about guns. My father explained to me that, uh, slug rounds are, uh, things you put into a shotgun that are, uh, basically giant bullets. No, I know I went over here already. Uh, they're the size of a shotgun shell, but instead of exploding little pellets, it's just one huge thing that goes forward and annihilates whatever you're pointing it at. Goodness for quick reflexes. But, uh, yeah, in this game, the shotguns very definitely seem to be acting in the uh, manner of buckshot, where you point it at a group of dudes and they all fall down, instead of just the one in the middle being totally obliterated. Oh, boy. Tell you what, let's leave it right here, these stairs. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. What do you find out what's up there? Later.